So in this video, we're gonna be continuing with the video series of exploring Kling AI and seeing what it can do. I wanna just use five of the most unique, random, optimize prompts that will really push this model's ability to the limit. We're going to use ChatGPT to create the the uh, prompts for this. So again, if you want to learn how to prompt as well, go to the link down below. There is a free sheet that I've made and it will teach you how to prompt for AI, video generation, image generation, but also how to interact with chat gpt so in other words chatbots and we are first off going to use the search model to search the internet for some of the five best prompts that it can sort of find scale on the internet then we're going to run those results through the o1 model so it's the most advanced model where it analyzes it and refines it to its best ability then take those five prompts and put them in Kling in the 1.6 model, specifically the text to video model and see what we get. So this is the prompt here. I want to create five of the most unique prompts that will push Kling AI's new 1.6 model to the absolute limit. Testing it in many different areas that really push the boundaries against other AI video competition. I want you to create five of the most unique prompts that are in various styles but with added detail and challenging parts that will really push Kling AI's 1.6 model to the absolute limit whilst remembering to make these prompts describe something amazing to look at that will blow people's minds. Now we've opened a new window and we're now in the chat 01 model. We're gonna paste in our beautiful prompts right here. I want you to take these five prompts and make them the most optimized they can be so I can copy and paste them for video AI prompts test. So we're just gonna to come to Kling right here, go to AI videos, we're gonna go text to video, again, 1.6 new, and we're just gonna paste in the prompt right there and create an immersive cinematic underwater. I'm really not gonna read all of this, so I'm just gonna scroll through and you can pause the video and read it. We're gonna do professional mode, five seconds. Again, let's give it a little bit more creativity. I like playing around the AI creativity. And negative prompts, I'm, yeah, don't actually gonna do anything. <laughs> wow. Look at the consistency of the dancers. There's no really weird morphing, I don't think. On this one, I am very impressed with that. The second one, this one is a steampunk airship battle amidst floating islands. <laughs> uh, okay, wow. No, I'm gonna call that a fail. Just scenery's okay, this is just weird and funky. Okay, third one, time lapse of a futuristic city evolving over a century. Ooh, that does sound good. What do you mean it failed? Okay, it failed, so I've had to delete a little bit of the sentence there at the bottom. I mean, it's still a chunky paragraph, but it's less than before, which is disappointing, but I can't decide what goes for a prompt or not, so I don't know. No, I would say it's missed the understanding of this. It instead, I would say, is more like a drone shot of a hyperlapse that is going over and above the city. So if I had prompted for, you know, consistency and a drone shot that goes over the top, and it looks like it's sort of panning panning upwards but down as it's going up. I'd say that's a beautiful shot. I mean, it is a beautiful shot. It's not what I asked for exactly, but it, it's beautiful. Aside from that, for draw distance, consistency looks pretty, relatively really good and really beautiful. We have mythical creatures parade in an enchanted forest. It really likes the forest and enchantment here. Maybe we're living in a mystical world. You know what? 0 0.05, because why not? Surprise me, AI. Come on, surprise me. <laughs> It's actually, <laughs> that's actually pretty cool. <laughs> I'm not into fantasy too much. It looks, I don't know if I find it weird, but actually as an objective shot, it is actually really beautiful. Really, really beautiful. Microcosmic journey for a human cell. Now that sounds fascinating. What am I getting for Christmas? Maybe some great AI videos. That's actually really beautiful. Not that I know what cells look like. I have absolutely no idea in the slightest, but being the unexpert in cells that I am, I'm convinced, really beautiful, great complexity to the shot, great colors, but with the complexity, great consistency and really lovely transition and smooth transition with creating, I assume whatever this cell is here. To summarize, I think with this, it is very, very, very good still. I will say some of the shots didn't come out as I would have wanted, didn't hear it fully with like the drone shot, for example, or the steampunk battle, which just looks like a, yeah, just looked like bad. But my two standout shots for me are the cell creation 
and the underwater ballet dancers which I just thought looked really 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 beautiful and uh, thank you for watching and I recommend if you want to see more videos like this that you watch my previous video about how I made the cinematic movements and have a look at my cling you know animation styles as well yeah check those out that was pretty cool but I hope you enjoyed it I've got a flight to catch and I'll see you in the next video